Hi, I'm Bob Davis. We are going to take it to the streets and we're going to be using the new Perfect Pair, my favorite two light modifiers from FJ Westcott. It's going to be the Apollo Medium Softbox. We're going to use a grid and then we're also going to use one of the most underutilized light modifiers that I just absolutely love and that's the Halo. So we're going to mount the 5015 umbrella adapter to the speed light and it has a two point securing connection. So we get it into the cold shoe then you secure it with a thumb screw and then also make sure you lock the speed light tension right on there so it mounts really solid. Last thing you want is your speed lights to be hitting the concrete. So this will allow us to use an umbrella shaft through here for all of our light modifiers. Quick, easy, solid setup. So for this next shot, we're gonna have Lola inside and we have these wonderful raindrops on the window. So we're gonna kind of do a basic beauty clamshell lighting. We're gonna use the Apollo with the grid in a beauty dish kind of fashion up high coming down to give nice specularity to the raindrops. And then we're gonna use the halo on the bottom with another speed light in there just for some fill so we don't have that harsh shadows that's unflattering under the chin or under the nose. Third speed light's just gonna be a bare flash and we'll turn that on and off just to see, to get a little bit of uh, hair light illumination from the background. We don't want any of this ambient light at all. So we're gonna control all the light through our speed lights and the perfect pair lighting kit. So what we're doing is we're gonna use the speed lights to control the light that we see. We're creating the light that we want. And we're gonna kill all this ambient light through the use of our speed lights, overpowering it, because this really isn't that flattering of light. And we want a dramatic shot, so this background is gonna go completely black. Now we're gonna use the halo in a different manner. Last time we had the speed light facing forward for fill and a little bit more specularity. This time we want more diffusion and very nice soft fill. So the speed light head will be reversed, which will reflect off of this wonderful silver material inside. Really efficient for the speed lights and strobes, thereby reflecting the light off the silver back and diffusing it all through the front. So we have less specularity, just really nice fill. So I've got three groups of lights going. A is gonna be the main light, B is gonna be the fill, C is gonna be the hair. All right, so now we're gonna light things up and see what happens. Challenge the focus with the raindrop. Beautiful hair light. So I got my hair light. My hair light's going on, and then we just need our front lights. And what's nice is we have these access panels. We could open up the zippers, and then we could just tilt that light downward. A little closer. Yep. So really important to have the eyes in focus. Stunning. Nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna kill the backlight for a couple right in the, right from here. This is what's so cool now with this new feature. With the groups, I could turn my background light completely off. So it's just the two front lights. Make sure she's eyes are in focus. That's really critical for me. Oh, amazing. So let's recap. Use the perfect pair, which is the Halo and the Apollo. This time we did a little bit of variation. We really quickly got three different looks, even though we had the lights in place. We had the Apollo with a grid on it, acting kind of like a beauty dish, high and right above the access of the lens. We're shooting through a window with raindrops on it. So that's giving me a nice light on Lola the model and also highlighting the raindrops. We had a hair light for some separation. And then we had the uh, halo from underneath as kind of a fill. So we took one shot with all three lights on. Looked okay, but a little bit too much. In my mind's eye, I had something a little bit more dramatic. So we killed the hair light in the background. 
which eliminated that backlight on the raindrops, which really caused them to sparkle. Looked nice, but quick variation. And then again, really quickly, we turned off the halo and it was just acting as a fill, right? Because the top light in the Apollo was bouncing off of the white umbrella of the halo, just giving me that nice natural fill. So my favorite shot ended up being just one light, the Apollo with a grid, the halo as a nice reflector fill. It just really pulled off that moody, rainy afternoon shot I was looking for.